When you saw the softness in the labor market, it was pretty stark relative to what expectations were on consensus. When you see the weakening, what's the risk here that things weaken at a faster pace than people expect? Yeah, so it's funny. When we look at the labor market data um, in more detail today, you know, we actually see what was a still reasonably solid report, you know, under, <laughs> underlying all the, the bond market reaction today. Um, you know, if you look at some of the details, for example, government jobs, they actually have been quite strong. Um, they were surprisingly weak, um, you know, and that contributed to a decent amount of the miss. Um, if you would add that back, uh, you know, the which when we think the data will get revised, the government can be a little bit sketchy in how they, uh, I guess, how they report, uh, and it does tend to get revised. You know, then this was a, you know, actually a headline payroll number that was a little bit above 200k. Um, you know, and ultimately, you know, we're still seeing, you know, pretty solid trends. If you look on a three-month moving average basis, uh, you know, we're above 250, right? We're a little under 250 on a six-month moving average basis. So that's a labor market, you know, that I would say is is quite strong. So. So, you know, there's not really, you know, when, when we look around, there's not clear indications to us. Um, you know, certainly things are slowing. They're moderating a little here, um, but certainly they're not uh, falling off a cliff by any means. And if you look at the, the labor market data in the context of, of what has been very strong, uh, you know, growth in the United States, final domestic demand growth, which is a key indicator of what underlying demand is in the U.S., that's been growing at about 3 percent. Um, which is above measures of potential. You know, so I would say, if anything, when I look around, I still see a U.S. economy that's quite strong. I think that the bond market reaction today, you know, if anything, was a story about positioning and a story about the fact that even though we have a strong economy, even though inflation you know, is kind of getting stuck above target, that the Fed is a long way from hiking interest rates. Um, you know, they could still be delayed and we do expect them to, uh, you know, to show us that they are going to be more delayed in cutting. Um, but, but at the same time, you know, they're, they're really not prepared to hike at this point. And I think the bond market might have gotten a little bit over its skis in terms of pricing that. And that's why you're seeing that come out of, uh, of yields today. It's a pretty drastic move you're seeing, not just today, throughout the whole week, or at least the last two days even of the week. How far over their skis are they, most of these investors that are, that are bidding the bond market up right now? When do you expect that first cut? Yeah, well, obviously, you know, there's a distribution around everything. But what I would say is that when we look at our core PCE forecasts, um, you know, if you just look at, you know, kind of a pretty reasonable monthly pace between now and the end of the year, you know, call it like, quote, point twos <laughs> on the month over month basis, you're getting to a 3% year over year rate at the end of the year. Uh, so you and the point, the reason why I bring that up is just because you have to have some surprisingly weak inflation reports, uh, you know, here in order to get at what what was the what was previously the Fed's forecast of two six for the year? That three percent level of core PCE that's starting to get a little bit tricky in terms of optics for cutting. Um, so we still think the Fed, uh, you know, will be delayed here. You know, delayed to the back half of the year. We think they probably will get one done. But when the SEP comes out in June, you know, absent some surprisingly weak data between now and then, you know, we still think they're revising up their inflation forecasts. You know, and with it, they're taking out, you know, one or probably two rate cuts.